Eastbound flights across the Atlantic often benefit from tailwinds, shaving up to an hour off flight times, while westbound flights face headwinds that can stretch the journey considerably. To account for these variables, airlines don't just go by great circle distance, they use block time. The scheduled duration from when a plane pushes back from the gate to when it arrives at its destination gate. Block time includes taxiing, takeoff, landing, and any expected delays caused by weather or air traffic control. Airlines have to carefully balance block time. Too short, and delays become inevitable, frustrating passengers and throwing off connecting flights. Too long, and it creates inefficiencies, with planes spending extra time on the ground when they could be earning revenue. For example, a flight from New York to London may have a great circle distance of around 5,500 kilometers, but its block time might range from six to eight hours, depending on prevailing winds and airport congestion. For ultra-long-haul flights, the relationship between great circle distance, flight time, and operations becomes even more complex.